Hi, uh, today we are gonna explore the game Spurpunk and uh, I think uh, overall this game is a very good game and uh, uh, here we are actually looking at the begun page so we can see the begun page is very nice it has a very uh, good, uh, good and uh, informative UI and um, this game is actually about like tower defense and from this began page we can actually get a sense about it Cause like we can see we have zombies we also have towers so we can actually get some sense like this game is like use the towers to attack zombies and to defense our home and uh, now let's start the game and uh, we have a very nice button called start let's just click it so I think this game is like designed level by level and uh, it's a very standard way for so kind of uh, tower game so that's actually very good because uh, people can understand how to play just by looking at the game because like we all have basic understanding so that's very simple and very easy uh, to understand and uh, at the bottom, we actually have four things Freddy's, Shop, Card, and Gadbooks. So these are the features uh, that this game has, and I think these are very good. Let's just take a look. So, Credits is actually uh, contains some information about like the game director, game designer, programmers, and also level designers or something and it can tell us something about the background and also the people who design this game and for the shop i think the shop is designed very well so uh, it has a lot of features and uh, very user friendly uh, for example like we have different kind of boxes and we can just open one box and it can give us different kind of items so that's very interesting and uh, after we click the box, it will have the frozen uh, time for the box. Mm, and uh, I feel this is a very good design and uh, so very good. And uh, here we also have a guy telling us like a lot of information. So it's very uh, good and like can help users to understand what happens. And for the cars, it also uh, adds some more features and more interesting things to the game. So I think for the uh, car, it actually are, these are some functionalities that as a user we can use during the game. So because I'm a new gamer uh, for this game, so uh, like I only have one car, it's called Eyes. And uh, on the right, it has some information and this description about this card. So it says, freeze a monster for a limited time go to place near a tower. So we can see uh, it introduces us like how to use these functionalities and very easy to understand. It also has some attributes called, uh, including damage, cooldown, and range. Uh, that tells us like what features and what attributes this card has. So this one can froze uh, zombies for like 16 seconds. It's very easy to understand. So that's very good. And we also have like a lot of different kind of functionalities that we can unlock. Um, and finally, let's take a look for the guidebook. So guidebooks are actually has a lot of, uh, here it tells us like different kind of zombies currently we have and also some attributes this zombie have. For example, this one has armor 2, uh, damage value 20, range 1, health 32. So uh, this will introduce us like a lot of info about the zombie and also this information can used by uh, users to uh, analyze and like design the strategy for the game. So that's very helpful and very well designed, I think. So, and uh, here are some information about different kind of towers. Towers. So, as a user, we can get different kind of towers, so we have more choice, and it can also add more uh, interesting things to the games. So, overall, I feel pretty good. So let's just play a game and uh, take a look what happens. 
So I think for this one, it's actually the game. We start the game. So for this square, I can build some towers. So I think this is very interesting. And uh, for the second tower, I build is actually some robot. Uh, and uh, very interesting. And uh, we can also move the low, move the position for this this thing. I think. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's move it. We can also build more towers. So I think probably I can win this game. So you can see, see how actually how this kind of zombies and uh, some zombies have like big head. They run very fast, but uh, when they take off. Uh, his hat, it will be the normal zombie. So there are actually a lot of design, a lot of features, and uh, makes the game very interesting. Oh, some zombie pass, and I think I can still kill it. Yeah, good. So I think that's overall what happens. Mm, basically, very interesting game. Okay, we win the game, and uh, I think that's basically my review for the like my review for the game. So we're all very good, and I think um, it's already a very mature game. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching.